reach out again, similar to mentors, but they're there to, to come along with us to help us. We might find we've got that. Um, there's the shapeshifter, which is uh, something or someone who appears to be friendly or useful and then ends up not being. Uh, I'm sure we've all encountered technologies like that. Um, and also the people who champion those technologies can sometimes feel a bit like that. And then the other way around, things that seem to be annoying and harmful but end up being good. Uh, some people have that relationship with test-driven development, for example. It seems to be annoying and complicated, but actually it turns out to be helpful. And some people have the opposite relationship with it. So, so there's different ways of looking at that. And the other character we meet is a threshold guide. Along the way, there are various thresholds, there are various things. You might think of them as milestones, you might think of them as, um, as particular, like smaller releases or particular things which we've got to have figured out. Um, and there's some sort of guardian guardian in the way. And a guardian might say, you shall not pass until you answer three questions. And so figuratively, right, applying that to a software project, uh, yeah, that, that, that might be, well, we, we've got, we've, we've actually got to get this, we've got this thing running on our own computers and now we've got to get rolled onto some cloud infrastructure. Um, but there, we realize there's data protection laws or something like that. Or, you know, there's all these kind of things. There's this thing we've got to figure out how to get around or how to work with or, or whatever. So we have guardians on the way. So, so we've got a bunch of questions that we can ask about this if, if we look at our project in this way. And the things like, um, for each of us, what, what comforts or, attract or, uh, or attachments are we leaving behind? in order to do this project. I mean, some projects, uh, you know, they don't take much effort, and some projects take a lot of effort, and I know that when I'm involved in something, I, I tend to leave certain things behind. Um, right now, I'm leaving behind reading Slashdot, because I've got a whole bunch of writing to do, and I'm finding that was just like, being all sort of too much information, distraction, and stuff. So there are other things to leave behind. So you might consider, what are you leaving behind? You might want to share that with other people on the team, because, it might be something that's pressing to you and obvious to you, like, oh, yeah, hey, guess what? I'm leaving this behind to do this. But no one else can see that. And maybe it helps to humanize you and humanize everyone else. Bring us closer together to, to talk about that. Uh, this thing over here, what is the goal of the quest? That might be obvious to some of the stakeholders and some of the people there, and it, it might seem different. So we can spend some time looking at what is the goal? Like, what actually is... What is that point when we say, yeah, we've achieved this and now we've got our journey home for, for this part of the project, this kind of phase? Um, it's one of those things that might go unspoken, it might seem obvious. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's releasing the service. But what, what does that actually mean? You know, what, what is, it might mean a different thing. Um, what personal change do you expect or, or imagine that you might have from this? Maybe, maybe you haven't thought of it, but maybe, maybe there is some kind of personal growth, personal change, personal challenge you want to overcome in doing this. It might be something like learning new technology, or it might be something like, um, you know, I, have, I have a friend who's always had problems with procrastination on working on software. And, uh, and I know that on one project he worked on, he, he wanted to overcome that procrastination during the project, and he actually wanted help from people in doing that. So that was a that was a, a kind of a thing. So it'd be, I think it'd be great if you could say, "Hey, guess what? Um, in this phase of the project, I, I know I've got a problem with procrastination. I'd really like to overcome this. So here's what I'm, I'm, I'd like for you to hold me accountable to that. If you see me procrastinating, feel free to ask me. Are you procrastinating? You know, I, and kick my ass, <coughs> if I, and I will ask for help if I seem to. You know, if, if I have a standard meeting, I'm like, yeah, I didn't really do much, but I did this other thing. All right, you're procrastinating. You did ask us to, to call you up about that. Um, how does the journey back look? Like, the, the, there may be smaller changes here, but there's going to be a big change here when we've actually, when we've achieved the goal and we've got the prize. What happens after that? What do we expect to change? How do our responsibilities change in our relationship to each other in the world? And then, like, what, what are the tricksters and allies and shadows and forks in the road? I mean, this is like a landscape as well. What are the, what are the big decisions we're likely to have to make? And which characters are going to be pulling us one way or the other on these decision points, on these forks in the road? Um, and 
how might we lose our way? You know, this is this is showing it after the fact, right? If you've got a map here, this is showing the route we took or the route we took after the fact. But actually, when we're on the route, we, we don't necessarily have this map of where to go. So it's like, well, okay, we, we've got to take a fork in the road. If we lose our way, how do we know that we've lost our way in our project? And how do we find our way back? I, I, there's no answer, but th th there is an answer. There is a, there is a, you've, you've done this before. So you can say, well, oh, yeah, in my experience, I was on this project where, <laughs> where actually we found this wasn't what we really wanted to do. There was another thing over here that was more important, but it took us a few months to get everyone on this to realize that or something like that. So it's that, that narrative, that storytelling about it that I think is important to try and keep everyone together going in the same direction. Um, so I mean, that's, that's basically the hero's journey. Now, the way I see it, each of us is on our own hero's journey on the project. It's not like there's one hero and everyone else is an ally. You can tell any story from the perspective of any character. Like, there is a story of Star Wars, which is from Darth Vader's perspective. And actually, you see some of that in some of the, the, what are they, the, the first episodes that were made afterwards. You, know, you see the Darth Vader story. But actually, you could make the whole thing where the evil empire are actually the good guys trying to impose some kind of order on the universe, some kind of like decent bureaucracy, making the trains <laughs> run on time, the space shuttles run on time, whatever. And you've got these insurgents who are who are just like messing things up and whatever. And I'm sure you're going to destroy a couple of planets, but it's worth you know. anyway. So you've got that kind of thing. You could watch it. So Darth Vader could be the hero, but actually, like Han Solo could be the hero. Yoda could be. The, you know, you've got different movies, but they're all kind of the same they're in the same world. And so that's the kind of story arc thing. If you've got the different character story arcs, but the project is more or less the same for everyone. The organization is the same for everyone. So I would say that each of us on this project are a hero in our own hero's journey. We all have these ordeals to go through. We all have available to us mentors. We actually might be other people on the project or might be people outside. We have available to us um, our own kind of transformation, our own resources, our own creativity, and our own ability to lead in different ways. So that, that's... So that's basically the hero's journey, that's kind of the backdrop of this. Um, any questions or observations or interesting stuff about that? Okay, I don't have enough talking. Um, what I'd like to do, actually, is to get everyone a piece of paper. So, I, I would like everyone to, on their own, in silence, without using spoken or written words, to draw the Gauss project, like not 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 like the finished product or anything. No, I'm not talking about screenshots or schematics, but the, the the flow of the project. You can you can use this metaphor if you want, or you can use your own metaphor. Whatever it is, how how does the project look to you? So this is just a this is a couple of minutes. Um, but the only rule is don't use actual words.